Hey Geminis, today we're going to be doing the 2021 reading for my Geminis. All right, so welcome back to my channel if you're coming back or hello if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another reading video, herb video. I have so many videos on my channel. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to get into what does 2021 look like for you, Gemini? Uh, what's coming in? What should we expect? What do we need to know? Right? All right, let's start. Okay, so immediately the card starts to talk. And we have the tower. All right, Gemini. So I know that the tower sometimes scares people, but when the tower comes, liberation comes. When the tower comes, freedom comes. So something that was really making you feel trapped or something that was um, causing, I want to say, your suffering, Something that was causing your suffering, yeah. Uh, your perception is going to change. The tower is always the ending of a suffering, but sometimes you feel like your world got shaken up in the process. So an example would be, I always wanted to be on my own right? I always wanted that. It was a dream of mine, but I never could because, you know, just there was a lot of obligations. There was a lot of manipulation. There was a lot, there was like a lot where that I couldn't get that, you know? So for me, my tower moment was when I finally was forced to leave. Like, but in the end, I got what I wanted, right? It's just that like the universe pushed me out because I wouldn't go out on my own. But I had to in order to get what I wanted, if that makes sense. <laughs> but that's kind of what I see for you guys, Gemini. There's something you want, but <laughs> there's something you're not doing and it's a necessary step for achieving what you want because Trust me when I say you're going to manifest what you want. I don't know what it is. Only you know what it is. But the card is saying you're going to manifest what you want. But there is something that you need to change your perspective on. And in 2021, that you're going to be changing your perspective. And you will definitely be manifesting what this is that you've been trying to manifest or you wanted to manifest. We have here strength. 2021, you guys, a lot of you, I see you being more independent, being more, being stronger, be, like speaking your mind, telling it like it is, not holding back. A lot of you have tamed your shadows, tamed your beast. You've worked with your demons. You no longer collide within yourself. Like your, your mind will not collide with your heart. Your you know, like, you're very balanced in 2021, very at peace inside in 2021. Like, no matter what happens, challenges, any struggle, anything, any obstacle, whatever. Now, before I move on, I do want to say, I, like, throughout the year, sometimes challenges, obstacles, struggles, stuff like that come up. And it's so crazy because we can't fully predict the entire year because our energies change. And let me, I don't know why I'm channeling this right now, but I feel like a lot of you should hear it. But say, say you do like abundance work for the year, right? You do abundance work and everything's going great, right? And you get a new job and then you go to your new job and there is a negative ass coworker there, right? Just energy vampire, always negative, you know, like, so then it's, it's like things could be going really, really well. And then someone else's energy you can, like you can't help but be around your coworker. You work there, right? You work in the same office, the same building, right? So sometimes other people's energy or other situations' energy 
can rub off on us. And so I feel like in 2021, you're going to see whose energy has been rubbing off on you the wrong way. And in 2021, a lot of you are finding that strength to be like, whoa. It's kind of like telling somebody they need deodorant. Like, you're just like, whoa, dude, you have really bad energy. And I'm strong enough to say I'm backing off. So I do feel like th that kind of energy is coming in. We also have here the Nine of Wands. No matter what happens, you are always focused. In 2021, you are dead set on a goal. I don't know what it is, but you're dead set on it and you're passionate and you will like, you rip the world apart to get to your goal. Whether that's, for a lot of you, I don't know why I keep hearing pregnancy, or baby, um, a project, business venture, but I'm hearing baby and pregnancy loud. <clears throat> Uh, but for a lot of you, it could be like just your family. Like I, I feel like this has a lot to do with family. Like a lot of you are rebuilding your family legacies, um, breaking ancestral chains, breaking like generational patterns. And that's why the tower comes up. So in 2021, a lot of you guys are... <clears throat> okay, I feel like you've already broken a lot of this ancestral generational stuff and in 2021 you're rebuilding you're burning all that amidst the ash of all that that you just that has just been undone you're rebuilding and you're focused on rebuilding you don't give a shit if that thing like like the fire doesn't bother you you're gonna rebuild in 2021 you're going to rebuild we also have here the Six of Wands, public recognition. People are gonna see you. People notice you in 2021. People are looking at you, people sense your presence. You're gonna, it's like, you know how when you walk into a room, or what do they say? Like there's certain people, they walk into a room that have to say one word, but everybody's head will turn because everybody senses that energy. That's certain, like, it's an, it's like, um, like, what is it? Moths to a flame, right? You don't even understand why, but you gravitate towards certain energies. So I feel like you're going to have that where people are just, they don't know why, but they're going to gravitate towards you. Gemini. Geminis are very magical, mystical beings. And in 2021, Geminis, this is the year you get to see your innate, that innate magic that is within you. You get to see what that can do. Oh my gonna. Oh my gonna. Why did I say that? I said, because this card popped out and along with like a chunk of cards and I said, oh my gonna. So you know what? I feel like he wanted to come out. But it seems like you have blessings in 2021 from Ganesha himself. So when he shows his presence, this is going to be an abundant year. This is going to be a prosperous year, you know, happiness and joy. And I feel like for you, Gemini especially, you are paving your own way to your joy. You're paving your own way to happiness. And you're paving your own way in 2021. And Ganesha is there with you every step of the way. He's dancing behind you. He's laying flowers in your path. And I feel like he's saying, just be aware, like look for the flowers in your path. So <clears throat> maybe synchronistically, a lot of you may be seeing elephants or Ganesha symbols or flowers a lot in 2021. Let's see a message for career for Gemini. This one, okay, this card, <clears throat> I don't know what this is, but it came out and it hit my chest, it hit the camera, and then it fell and hit my knees, and then it hit the ground. So whatever this is, the energy is like, what is it called? How do I say it? Dibble dabble. Like the energy is here and there. Like the energy is just back and forth. So let's see. What is that? Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Okay, you guys have been very bad in love. When I say that, I mean like you've been one foot in and one foot out. 
I'm ready to commit and then I'm like running as far as I can. Or you're just like, yes, I want this. No, I don't want this. <laughs> That's so funny. And I feel like a lot of you in 2021, like maybe this has been a serious issue. Like it has been a serious issue for you, Gemini, where you're in and then you're out. And then you're like, yes, I want this. And no, I don't. And it drives you crazy and it drives other people crazy, right? But I feel like in 2021, it's not like that. I feel like you can dabble in it all or you know exactly what you want, but there is decisions made and it's not so confusing anymore. Um, breaking trail. Yeah, breakthrough is at hand. So something you've been working on, you guys, Gemini's. 2021, there's a breakthrough happening. So something maybe you guys have been working towards a raise or like a goal or um, a milestone. I don't know. Or maybe you trying to save up a specific amount of money in your account or something like a specific goal. You're definitely going to hit it in 2021. Definitely. Um, <laughs> I keep seeing this card and wanting to laugh. Your love life is so flirty and funny spontaneous it's majestic and magical like that's what your love life looks like in 2021 for a lot of you okay begin now take your first step for that to come right underneath Ganesha he comes bearing a message for you Gemini's take your first step 2021 you are going to be taking your first step and leaving your comfort zone regarding something I don't know what it is but you guys are leaving your comfort zone you're excited you're happy People have their eyes on you. And Ganesha is supporting you, backing you up all the way. Uh, let's pull a love message for you, Gemini. You know what's so funny, Gemini's? Okay, so Gemini's are the twins, right? Uh, my camera is right in front of my window so I can see outside my window and right across the street, I swear to God, are two identical trucks, like big rig, like U-Haul type of Amazon type of delivery trucks, exactly the same. They're both parked in exactly the same ways and both of their back lights are on. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're kind of like organizing the packages or something, but that is so crazy. I'm doing a Gemini reading and there's like twin trucks. Which, for me to see that right now, what I'm channeling from that is a lot of you Geminis may be moving or buying something very big in, um, in 2021. Okay, we have here miracles and blessings that are coming in. Yeah, with Ganesha showing his presence like that, I don't have a doubt. Everything has its gift and 2021 i feel like a lot of you are going to be more grateful just more of an upbeat more of a better attitude more just better energy overall especially in your love life we also have here appreciate this moment see gratitude every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love so a lot of you like there's going to be a lot of things that happen like little things that happen that are going to be very positive like little things are gonna happen you're gonna appreciate the little tiny things like maybe somebody's gonna um bring you roses like something small and you're just gonna like little things are gonna mean a lot to you in 2021 we also have here true love this love is once in a lifetime all right gemini's oh my god this is so beautiful okay gemini's if you're in a relationship the relationship is coming back to life. It's a relationship that might have even been not from just this life alone. It, this is a relationship that defied odds. It, it's been through different lifetimes. It's been through different experiences, losses, trivials, experience. Like This relationship has been through a lot, not just even in, in this lifetime alone. For a lot of you, you get to... Uh, see that more in 2021 you you the relationship between you and your partner gets deeper it's a bond where it just defies society's norms i i keep 
seeing that Gemini's with you especially you when you guys love you defy society's norms you defy like you love with everything you love when you if you're loved by a Gemini it's insane and a lot of you Gemini's that are single I see true love coming in you meeting them getting to know them and they t this relationship teaching you to appreciate the moment to love to not be afraid to love to take your first step to, towards commitment such good energy when it comes to love Gemini let me go ahead and see what comes up in my yogi deck and then I'm going to pull a color element deck for you guys too and an herb card. So anytime you may need anything throughout the year, maybe to connect with your spirit guides or connect with anything from the spiritual realm, you can use these specific herbs in this specific color because it will be coming up from spirit and then, you know, it could help you throughout the year. We have Brahma. Brahma is the creator. So... In 2021, you guys are going to be creating something. It could be uh, getting your house made, built. It could be starting a new business, creating new life, pregnancy. Something you guys are creating and it is something that is permanent. It is something that people see, people are watching and you're creating this and it's something that none of your family members or ancestors or anyone has ever done. And you're breaking all odds by creating this in 2021. All right, let's see. I'm going to pull this color, color card for you guys. Gemini's. Overcome your challenges. In the year 2021, if ever you need to overcome a challenge, if ever you feel like something is too challenging and you need to overcome it, use the color burgundy and plum. You can even use plums, the seed of a plum is strength, right? Um, you can use plum color to push through energy. This color pushes through energy, pushes through blocks, pushes through obstacles. So you, plum uh, decorations, bed sheets, candles, plum flavored uh foods you know desserts like use plums throughout the year i feel drawn to uh, pick another one for you guys too so i am gonna i just unconsciously started well we have two messages for you guys i just started shuffling so the doorbell just rang you guys know i don't take anything as a coincidence there's gonna be opportunities and gifts coming for you gemini Un unexpected uh, we also have here Amber. This is the, the, my luckiest stone. If I ever work with Amber, I swear I get everything I want. Like, and everyone has that stone, but you have to build your relationship or like explore different stones to see which one does that for you. I'm telling you, everybody resonates with a stone like that. But Amber is mine. And awaken your creativity. Awaken your sacral chakra. Manifest. Luck. Um, and then the last one that came for you guys is Jade taking action so if ever you guys need help in overcoming challenges get being more creative or getting bored with life or you want to spice things up or you need an idea um or you you know you want to take action you want to be more energetic you want to be more grounded use jade amber and plum you can use these as like jewelry you can incorporate these colors into your life you know there's so many ways you could use it but before we do leave Gemini, I do want to pull from my Ganesha deck and just get an energy from him for you guys because he did show his presence. So I'm going to go to his deck. There's joy coming in. 2021 is a joyous year. 7 plus 4 is 11, the number of creation, right? The number of um, manifestation. Again, you, you have manifestation in your reading a few times. So you will be manifesting in 2021 a lot. Love life, um, something you've been waiting for. And then we also have relaxation. So it's going to be a little bit of more of a relaxed year in 2021 for a lot of you, Gemini. Um, just being a little bit more relaxed, more calm, tranquil. 
just enjoying life's pleasures a little bit more than you have been allowing yourself to. Um, and just, yeah, just reflecting and thinking, being able to think, slowing down, relaxing, giving your body a break. These are things that are going to be uh, important in 2021 for you. I see a lot of you, if you're in a relationship, you're uh, relaxing with your partner a lot, finding new things to do, doing things out of the ordinary that like both of you wouldn't usually do together. Like it's a good year for you, Gemini, and I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you real soon.